Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're in the shop getting ready to clean up this chainsaw carving. If you guys saw my last video, I carved this out with a chainsaw. This is a piece of catalpa. And I already started cleaning it up and I was like, you know what, I should probably just shoot a video and uh, finish cleaning it up for you guys. You can just kind of see the process, see what I'm doing. Going to be using is my Fordham with the flex shaft. This is the heavy duty square shaft with the smaller hand piece. Get a little more control. I'm not looking to do like aggressive carving. I'm just gonna be trying to uh, clean it up so I don't need the big hand piece. And we'll mostly be using the uh, Sabertooth Whisper Bits. This is the finest grit they currently make. And so I think it'll do a really nice job cleaning up this catalpa wood. So be sure to stick around and uh, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to clean this up. I, uh, I don't really want to add any color. I may just add black to where it says steel here on the bar but other than that I, I really like the uh, the finished product of catalpa wood now if you guys aren't sure what catalpa is you guys can look it up obviously on Google but for here catalpa grows those big long beans that hang off the tree carving wise it feels like a fairly soft wood and it smells pretty good and it finishes pretty nice so if you guys saw my heron carving video be popping up here that video is a piece of catalpa as well so it sands nice it finishes nice it, it ends up looking nicer than pine and uh, I like working with it so it's tough to get from time to time I can get a few pieces it, it does seem tough to get around here in like good big sizes so when I get it I carve it and uh, yeah I like it anyway I'm gonna throw on my RZ mask and basically just Go to work. Hopefully uh, you guys will stick around. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, we're going to be starting off flex shaft, saber tooth whisper bit. This is the eye bit that they have. I think it's the eye cutter. And uh, we're going to start with that, see what we can get done. If we have to, we'll switch to something else. So pick myself up a new RZ mask. I'm going to wear this bad boy. Look at that nice bright green. Bright green. If uh, Amazon has these back in stock, I'll leave a link down below with you guys. I know they were out of stock for a little while, so we'll have to, uh, I'll have to go back and take a look. So even this being the finest bit they make, it really does chew up the wood pretty good. I mean, it's smoothing it out real nice. Kind of getting the cover here uh, cleaned up well. Got to get in over here to the body and all those things. Now, I did miss a few things. Like, we don't have the trigger in here, and I forgot the pull cord on the side. I could add them, but I'd rather just carve another chainsaw in the future. So learn from your mistakes, you know. I mean, if you guys look down here at the bar... When I was carving, the saw grabbed, ripped a couple of the teeth off. There's not much you could do about it. It just it happened. It's not worth gluing the piece on, you know. It's not a custom order or anything. So we just keep rolling with it and finish the piece. Like I've told you guys before, just finish it. Just finish it. If you've started the carving, just finish it. Finish it all the way through because then the whole thing is just good practice. So next time I make this, I'll end up leaving everything quite a bit thicker here for the bar. Take my time, a little more time and careful and trim it down a little less than I did here. That way I can come back and I'll carve it away with the burrs and probably my die grinders. But is what it is at this point, you know, so now it's just kind of clean it up, make it look good and move on. Thank you. 
So some of you might be thinking, how come I don't use, you know, a cylinder, uh, where is it, the ball nose, or the flame to do this. The flame I probably could, but I'm using the eyeball cutter because this is kind of a flat plane here. Let's see if I can get this close. It's kind of got this flat plane. And when I hold it like this, I can use the flat surface and not have the handpiece get in the way. If I use the other ones, the handpiece is down like this. And then it's in the, I can't get over here to cut. So this gives me the option to have the handpiece at an angle and smooth things out. I'm not applying a ton of pressure here, guys. I'm just taking my time and letting the tool do the work. We're sanding. It's like we're sanding and light shaping. So just keep that in mind if you're to use these bits. They're, you're, you're not really like carving away a ton of material. You're just kind of like uh, cleaning it up. getting this handle cleaned up in here I don't know if we're gonna switch to another bit I might just keep that one on keep going I really want to just get this whole body cleaned up so I can get down here on the bar and uh, start cleaning that up as well So if you guys notice, the uh, burr is sticking out quite a ways here. That's so I can have a little more reach. Now this is also the time where you could bend that shaft. So you're having a light hand. We're just, we're just sanding. We're not like forcing this thing in and digging this thing in. I mean, this is only, look at that. It's only an eighth inch shaft, okay? It's not like the shaft on the quarter inch. Look at the difference. This can take some abuse. I mean, you could probably still jack it up if you're not careful, but this can take abuse where these can't. These are finer, detailed uh, burrs. So we can't be, uh, you know, taking these and really just digging in super hard. That's not really, you know, what they're meant for. Even even when you get into, like, the coarser grit, you you, you got to slowly take material away. And it's not always meant to just, you know, dive right in there and just get it done in three minutes. You gotta slow down a little, think about your cuts, think about how you wanna do it. And honestly, if you slow down a little more and remove material slowly with some of those other ones, you'll find shaping your piece, pulling that design out a little bit easier because it's actually slowing you down and you're thinking more about what you're doing. And if you realize, oh wait, that's not gonna look right, you have time. You didn't cut away too much too fast. So that's something to keep in mind. But these bits aren't really meant for cutting away. Again, it's mostly, you know, we're just sanding now you guys know normally we're using the die grinders outside on a chainsaw carving but like i said earlier i really want to clean this piece up i want to make it look make it look a little nicer you know so obviously these are good for probably a small to medium sized carving unless you're going to be putting a ton of detail into like a big one i uh i think they're really good set up here i think it's a really good setup here with the fordham you know for like stuff you could put on the bench and, and carve. Where you get into a bigger carving, so your details are bigger, it's, it's easier to use the die grinder. Hopefully that makes sense, but.
Now you guys can do all this with this burr. You don't need the Fordham. You could be doing this on your Dremel. I mean, I have the Fordham, so obviously I like to use it, but same concept, put it in your Dremel. You know, it doesn't need to be full bore, full speed. It can get away from you really quick, you know, turn it down a little bit and uh, take your time. I mean, give this a listen. Full speed, all right? This is what I've been carving at. Maybe half. So I don't really need it at full speed. Um, like I said, we're just cleaning it up. Sandpaper in here. Oh, it's, funny, huh? it's just a piece of uh, 220, I believe. Yeah, this is 220. Just wanted to remind you guys, I still have some of those bottle openers available. I'll uh, have a link down below in the description to my Etsy store. Go there, look for the bottle openers with a purpose. You can also follow the Teespring link and look for bottle openers with a purpose Teespring t-shirts that I've created. The money from those things help my friend that's uh, fighting cancer right now. He's currently going through chemo. He's been doing really well with it, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't get rid of the hospital bills that are going to start piling up. So if you guys want to be part of that and you want to help, you know, feel free to uh, make those purchases and all those proceeds, all the money that is uh, collected from that will go directly to my friend and his family. So it's a good thing. It's a good cause, you know, and uh, it really is appreciated. And I appreciate and I thank you guys for that contribution. So plus you guys get a cool bottle opener and a, and a pretty neat t-shirt, you know, punch cancer in the face. Go there, check them out. Other than that, I do have some of my own t-shirts made if you're, you know, more interested in those. And also the Etsy store has some neat pieces available. I may even put some chainsaw carvings up there. I don't know if, if, if anybody's interested in a chainsaw carved chainsaw, maybe a smaller one so the shipping isn't so bad. Let me know. Maybe I'll work on uh, carving out a couple and just putting them up there, making them available. So we're almost done with this piece though. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere. You know, you don't want to miss this video. I got to finish up here on the body and start coming around to the front where the motor is. And then we're going to get into the bar. Not going to do you know, a whole bunch of work on the bottom side here. There's really not anything going on. So we're almost there. We're almost there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Forgot to mention the bottle openers with a purpose. If you buy a bottle opener and you have an Instagram account, feel free to take a picture of your new opener using it, you know, whatever you want to do, and hashtag bottle openers with a purpose. All one word on Instagram, and it'll start, it'll be added to the little uh, profile with that hashtag that I've created. We've got a couple photos on there now, but it'd be cool to see everybody, you know, that's helping out and joining in. Same thing, if you decide to buy one of the t-shirts, you could do the same thing. You know, get a photo of the t-shirt if you want, selfie, something, whatever you're comfortable with, and uh, hashtag that, just showing your support. 
I think it'd be pretty cool to uh, bring that part of the community together. So just wanted to put that out there. Let's see here. What do we want to do next? They're going to they're going to swap this bit out for a cylinder. This is actually a safe end cylinder. There's no teeth, no burr, cutter deals there, you know, so it's a flat, smooth end. I'm going to put that in and go down along the teeth. Or, yeah, like this edge here by the teeth, just to kind of smooth that out some. And then we will swap that out after for the flame burr. We'll put the flame burr in, and then we will clean up where we uh, started carving steel. Kind of get that ready for a little bit of black paint. All right, guys, I switched over to the quarter inch shaft with this coarse ball nose burr. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the inside here and uh, hopefully be done.
Well, I think that's it. Cleaned out the inside. We took some weight off. I mean, it's still pretty, pretty heavy. But, you know, we took out probably a good inch, inch and a half in here in some spots. Helped lighten it up a little bit, which is a plus. It'll uh, take away some stress here on the bar. Hey, is what it is. Now, to finish this, I'm going to just take it outside and spray it with a kick, uh, blah, 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 quick coat of polyurethane and call it a day and that be that. Hopefully you guys have uh, been entertained and had fun with this video, kind of just cleaning up this chainsaw carving some. Now, it could be cleaned up more. It could sit now for a couple days, dry out farther. We could go through, sand it even nicer. I'm not going to waste my time with that anymore. I'm not going to do any more on it. There's uh, a few defects I'm not super happy with, and I'm not going to put any more work into it. Now, for me, this piece is uh, is done other than the clear coat, and I will probably do another one in the future, and we'll do another video and, uh, you know, see how it goes, if that's something everybody wants. Possibly do a tutorial, because honestly, I don't think it was a horrible carve to do with the chainsaws. Um, I think it's pretty fun, though pretty straightforward I mean it's gonna be all about you and you know how much you're paying attention to detail and get right down to you know carving and how well you can handle your chainsaw things like that for a tutorial so that's gonna be it though for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already also if you want to help contribute to the uh, bottle openers with a purpose be sure to check out the NC link Etsy link below and the Teespring t-shirt link below that says uh, you follow that go there find the shirts that say uh, bottle openers with a purpose those purchases help support my friend dealing with cancer any other purchase you're helping support the channel and that's always pretty cool too so thank you for that and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a good one